Terry, you got that all wrong. You got positive to negative. You never do that, do you? You do if you're serizing two six volt batteries. Ah, so that's how you do it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. I'm doing, uh, continuing my build. Going, getting along it really quick, getting near the end. Here behind me are the stars of the show. That is a thousand dollars worth of batteries sitting right there. Doesn't look like much, does it? Just four cardboard boxes, this one's out. There are four AGM golf carts. Um, and so I'm gonna to talk to you to, in this brief video about AGMs and why I bought AGMs and should you buy AGMs. But the culprit is uh, back there behind me. You can see that. It's the microwave. That microwave eats up power and you need four, a minimum of 400 watts and four golf carts to run a microwave off of a 2,000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. Microwaves want real clean power. They want a, a pure sine wave inverter. And I happen to have one. I've been running a microwave in my last van off of four golf carts. So I knew it works. I've done it before. I've been doing it a long time. It's no big deal having golf carts. But they were getting old. They were on their last leg. Um, what happens is when, when the, when the uh, microwave comes on, even if the battery's at 12 8, it will instantly drop down to 12. And if the batteries are weak, it won't stop at 12. And down in those low 11s, the inverter doesn't want to run. It says, nope, that's too low voltage. I won't run. I'll kick out. That was happening to me with my old golf carts, which tells me they're just they're at the end of their life. They're five years old. They were both five years old, all four of them. And so they were, they were just at the end of their life, and it was time to replace them. If I wanted to keep running the microwave, it was time to replace them. So I went ahead and bought these four AGMs. Now, my last ones were lead acid. I had them in my van with me uh, for five, over five years, uh, and they were never vented. I am not concerned about venting, about, uh, about the off-gassing. Uh, it is dangerous, but with solar, it, it treats it so gently, I'm not that convinced that it's the problem. I, don't, I think the risk is very, very minimal, so I do it. However, it's a violation of all the safety rules, and so what I'm telling you is never, ever have a lead acid in un, unboxed, unvented in your van. Don't do as I do. Do follow the rules and be safe. However... There is one really important consideration you have to take into before you buy batteries. Will I take care of them? And the simple truth is I did not take care of my golf carts. I didn't put water in them. I didn't check them. And so they died an early death. Five years on golf carts is not a long life. It's acceptable, but a good, they're Trojans. Trojans can last 10 years if you treat them well. I did not, and I only got five years. They're expensive. And so uh, I, I replace them now with these AGMs. Now these are full river. That's a, a full river, six volt golf cart AGM. I've owned a set of these before uh, and um, I've been real pleased with them. I believe full river is by far the best bang for the buck for, a, uh, for golf cart AGMs. I don't think you can do any better. I bought them in quartzite. I'm in quartzite still doing my build. I bought them at Discount Solar, which I also highly recommend. If you think you're coming to Quartzsite, then I recommend that you wait and buy your batteries here if you're in need of batteries, and you buy them from Discount Solar. These were $259. Uh, no tax in Arizona if it's intended for solar. So just $259, $25 uh, uh, core charge, which I replaced. I gave them my old four batteries, so I get uh, no, no core charge because I had the old batteries. If not, you have to buy, pay the for, uh, core charge. Um, so it was a little over thousand dollars, a thousand and thirty six dollars. A lot of money, but they these should last me. Now I also upgraded my solar. I had three hundred and eighty, and I've upgraded to four hundred and eighty. I believe that will keep these a little fuller and a little better. I'm thinking about upgrading my controller to a better controller, which will let me take, give them and feed them. Uh, AGMs like to be fed pretty fast, uh, pretty hot and fast, which is an advantage because they'll take the, all the power you can give them. If you're running a generator, you don't have to run it as long because they'll take a lot of power, real big amp power, a uh, big voltage. These like to be at about 14.6 at absorption and then float at about 13.8. 
So that's what these want. But during uh, absorption, you can set them really high, and they'll they'll you know, they'll go full. They'll go to 100% full really fast. They're a standard uh, golf cart size, so they should just drop be drop in replacements. You can see they're taller. Golf carts are taller and not as w wide around because they got to fit in the small space of a golf cart, and so height is more valuable than uh, than the width. So these are taller and not as not as wide around or as long. Uh, they're going in behind my two seats, one behind the passenger seat, one behind the um, uh, driver's seat. They will be connected with two aught wires uh, across. Two aught, not two. Two means uh, a two gauge wire might be the size of your little finger. A two aught is about the size of your thumb. Uh, and so I'm gonna, I've, I've got two aughts, that's what I'm using now. The inverter, because it's 2,000 watts and surges to 4,000, has to have big, big wires. It is also uh, two, two aught wire, uh, which is the minimum you would want with a, a big inverter. Okay, so there it is, my new batteries. And when I get them installed, I'll show you how I'm installing them. I'll show you how I'm securing them uh, so they don't go flying. I'll show you all those things. But right now, I'm buying AGMs because I wanted, uh, I didn't, I know myself. Being honest with myself, I'm not going to take good care of these batteries. I'm just not. I'm not going to check the water and fill the water. So I, I'm going to uh, buy a battery that doesn't need to be taken care of. And for those of you who are very safety conscious, which is a lot of you, they also don't need to be vented. I'm not afraid of that, but you should be. Okay, so there you have it. That's my new $1,000 batteries, and I'll show you the installation and the mounting and the, all that uh, as we go along and get a little further along. Yes. There it is. That's it. That's it. So let me show you everything we've done. So we've got a piece of plywood and we've got a D-ring and then a ratchet strap goes around to one exactly like that. It's ratchet strapped down tight and now these should stay in here on this is you can see that's a sheet metal screw through the floor through the sheet metal underneath. One, two, three, four of them. We think that's pretty secure, secure enough for us and we're real happy with that. And that's just an extra safety item that uh, you should give serious, serious thought to doing. And I'll show you the same across here now. If you'll look over there. We've done already done the same thing. The, um, that piece of plywood is now has four sheet metal screws into the sheet metal below the floor. And we're going to do the same thing to it. And we'll be done with the batteries. All thanks to that man right there. Terry. Terry's my hero. <laughs> no, not so much. <laughs> and this man, he's the cameraman of the day. So say hi. Hi, how's there? So I have four golf carts. I showed you those already. And they've gone back behind the driver's seat. Let me show you how they are done, completely finished and installed. So here's the steering wheel. And down here under the, are the batteries. And this is just one of the cables that run off and I just haven't gotten hooked up yet. So for, I have four golf carts. There's the driver's seat. And here's the passenger seat. You can see the front door. The passenger seat. Exact same thing. Two AGM golf carts mounted. Now they're both mounted the same way. I showed you the, uh, the plywood. Uh, screwed in all four corners, screwed in all four corners to into the sheet metal of the van, a D-ring bracket, just a plain old ratchet strap, you can see you can go buy this at Walmart, just a plain old Walmart get ratchet strap, uh, two to three dollars each in a four pack, and now the, the, the batteries are ratchet strapped down in very, very, very securely. And there you go, mounted, balanced, uh, weights distributed across. I like weight forward in the van, the most weight forward because uh, very little weight is ever actually added to the front end. And so I like the weight forward. I like the weight balanced right to left. They're, reasonable, they're reasonably easy to access, although not easy, but they don't need to be checked for water. They never need to be maintained. 
So that's not a bad thing either. So actually I'm uh, very pleased with them here and I would this is something I would recommend that you do also if you have room behind your seats in your van. They're very secure. I don't think they'd go flying even if there was a rollover. I think they might stay in place just because they're so hard to get in and out. Um, another option that I considered was just an L bracket here uh, so that they could not come out this way. They cannot go up. There's no room. There's no room here for them to go up. They can't go backwards. They can't go forwards. An L bracket here, I think, would have been enough. But just to be extra, extra safe, uh, we've completely mounted them. We're making these two 6 volts into 12 volts. Very simple process. The positive post of one battery, the negative post to the other battery. And now those two posts are still 6 volt, but the other two posts are now 12 volt. So you have to, from now on, use only the other two, um, the other two posts. So now those two uh, six volt golf cart batteries are now 12 volts. Just this one simple cable, heavy cable. We're using two watt everywhere, uh, and one four watt, which I had to get real cheap, so I bought it. Now that the two, we have two 12 volt batteries. Two big ones, one behind each seat, and what we have to do is, so we created series, the 6 volt batteries are in series, and now we want to make the two 12 volts in parallel. And how do we do that, Terry? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Terry, I'm counting on you. <laughs> uh, you run positive to positive and negative to negative. That's about it. Not, uh, not really all that complicated. And right now we're just going to finger tighten them until we hook stuff up to them. Cause... Okay. So this will go over. Got to go in front. Can't go in back. Am I going to be long enough? No, there's no room between the batteries and the wall. <clears throat> It'll be long enough. It's just um, oh, it's plenty long. It can't it can't go back here like I was thinking because the batteries are right up against the wall. Yeah, it's a tight space. It, it really is a good space with uh, with a nice balance and the weight forward, but it's a pain in the butt. We've got both the seats as far forward as they'll go. And uh, Cody's right here. He's the supervisor. We doing this okay, Code? Yeah, he says okay. So we have two red cables, which would be confusing. If I look at these in the future, I want to know at a glance which one's positive, which one's negative. And the universal standard with 12 volt is uh, red's positive, black is negative. But because we have two red cables, that will be confusing. Uh, so we've wrapped black electrical tape around the ends, just so that in the future, I will look at them and know at a glance that uh, this is the negative. A little few extra seconds, a few pennies worth of tape, but it's safety for the future, for the next guy that works on this system, whether it's me or someone else. He won't be confused and wonder There'll be black there, and he'll know this is the ground. So we've already run. Now we're running again. I'm just repeating this so you understand. We have two. We have four golf cart batteries. We have connected the two golfs on each side in series. Positive for one battery, negative to the next battery, making them a 12 volt battery. And now we are paralleling those two 12 volt batteries by connecting them positive to positive, negative to negative. Okay, thanks much for watching. We'll talk to you later. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel, like us on YouTube, and live your dreams. Never give up on your dreams. Live your dreams. Don't settle for a half-life. Don't, don't settle for the minimal life of drudgery. Live your dreams. We'll talk to you later.